Okay, so in this video, we are going to run a camera calibration for the camera that we will have on the drone. Now you might be asking, why do we need to run a camera calibration? Well, you know, if you were just snapping pictures with the camera, maybe it wouldn't be the biggest deal. Maybe you wouldn't have to calibrate it. But for our purposes, you know, we're using it for computer vision applications. So we need to have really accurate um, results. We need to have a really accurate camera. So you might not know this, but every camera has its own unique internal characteristics. Some people call the, these intrinsics. And these intrinsics actually kind of distort the image of the camera. And you know, if, if you feed in a distorted image into a computer vision script, well, you're not going to get accurate results. So what we're doing with this camera calibration is we're trying to identify those intrinsics so that we can account for them in our computer vision scripts so that we can get much, much better um, results and estimations of our camera's position. So how are we going to calibrate the camera? Well, I have a repo here that I have forked from SMIDM and we're going to be using the checkerboard method. So go ahead and go to this URL and print off this pattern.png. And then once you have that printed off, go ahead and paste it to a solid object. Look what I did here. It's like one of those cooking shows where I, you know, pull out what's already been cooked. Anyways, <laughs> after you have pasted um, the checkerboard to some solid object. I did it with Gorilla Glue. You can do it, you know, with anything that would work. Um, we need to know the precise measurement of one of these squares because that is needed for us to perform a calibration. So in my case, one of these square lengths is around 22 centimeters. So I'm going to make note of that. Now let's hop on to our Raspberry Pi so that we can um, download those calibration scripts that we're going to run with this checkerboard. All right, now we are in the Pi, the Raspberry Pi SSH. So let's go ahead and clone that repository that we were just in. And it'll be github.com slash drone dojo slash video to calibration. So we'll download that. And once that's done downloading, let's go ahead and CD into that CD video to calibration. And calibrate.py, this is going to be our Python script that is going to run our calibration. Well, what does this calibrate.py script actually do? Well, we're pointing the camera in the direction of that checkerboard pattern and it's going to start a video, this script is. And every 20th frame, it's going to save a frame and try to find the checkerboard pattern. And if it finds the checkerboard pattern, then it uses that for its um, estimation of the calibration intrinsics. If it can't find the checkerboard pattern, then it just discards the image. Well, since we're running a video, we need a way to access that video feed. And unfortunately, the MJPEG streamer, in this case, won't work unless we wanted to do some more advanced configuration. So we're going to do what is called X11 uh, port forwarding. So let's go into sudo vi etsy ssh and then sshd config. And then we're looking for something that says X11 forwarding, and it, um, it might be commented out. Go ahead and remove that and make sure it says X11 forwarding, yes. So then after we do that, we'll get out of here, we'll save that file. So what do we have to install on the Pi Navio? Well, very simple, just apt get install and then X11-apps. So we'll hit enter here. So that sets up the Raspberry Pi side now we have to set up X11 port forwarding on our host machine side. And with this X11 port forwarding, our computer is going to be the thing that is displaying those images, that video feed, from the Raspberry Pi. 
So I like to use something called xming. So this is an xming server that the x11 client of the Raspberry Pi will communicate with. So let's just download it from SourceForge. It's a pretty simple download. And then once that has been downloaded, let's go ahead and start that up. Let's type xming app and let's hit that. Nothing will really pop up, but you should see if you're on a Windows computer, a little server, a little icon for xming here at the bottom right. So now we need to start an SSH console that has port forwarding, that x11 port forwarding enabled. So let's pull up putty, pull up putty. And here we have putty configuration, so we'll go expand the SSH and then click on X11, and we're going to enable this. Enable this and have the MIT Magic Cookie 1. And then let's go to Session, and we'll type in, as always, the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. And if we want to save this session so we don't have to do this every time, we could just type X11 and then hit save. All right, so now let's open up this session and let's log in as we always do. Okay, now if everything is working, we should be able to type X clock. And if your X11 port forwarding is working, that clock should pull up. That means our X11 client on the Raspberry Pi forwarded this display to our host machine, our computer, and it was able to display this image. So with that up and running, we know that we can now run our camera calibration. So let's go into that video to calibration directory. Okay, now we're almost ready to run our calibration. And again, we're going to be calling calibrate.py. But before we do that, we should make note of calibration files. So this is the directory that our calibration files will be saved to after we're done running calibrate.py. And these will be the files that we will use in our computer vision scripts. Okay, so how are we going to call um, that calibrate.py? Well, we have to feed in a couple arguments. So the first one is dash dash mm, short for millimeter. And this is going to be the length of one of those squares of the checkerboard that we measured. Mine happened to be 22. Then let's pass in dash dash uh, width. Um, so we're going to do this at 640 pixels. And then height is going to be 480 pixels. Now this point is very important. Um, the calibration frame size that you run at is only good for that frame size. So we couldn't use the calibration files that will be generated from this calibration on a different sized image. It will only work on 640 by 480 pixel images. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and prop up our drone so that the camera is pointing out. And once we start this script, a video feed will pull up and that will be what the camera is seeing. And we're going to grab that checkerboard and rotate it in different positions. And every 20th frame of the video feed will be saved if a checkerboard image is de um, detected. And then once there have been 30 good images that have been detected, then the video feed will stop and the script will automatically save and report those calibration files. So let's go ahead and hit enter and start up that calibration. And we want to do is move this checkerboard 
in a bunch of different positions so that the camera can get a good variety of checkerboard images. And once the script has detected 30 good images, it'll perform the calibration automatically. So here is our camera matrix, and here is our distortion co coefficients. So that is reported to the console, but it is also now saved to calibration files here. So we have the camera distortion, which just saved this, these coefficients, and, and we have camera matrix, which saved this data. And we will be able to call these um, calibration files in our computer vision scripts later on.